Hi, welcome to the Houston Zoo Galapagos Tortoise Yard. Um, we have four of our Galapagos tortoises here. We have Daphne, Seymour, and Jervis. Um, they're enjoying some lettuce, sweet potato, zucchini. So they're part of the yard, so the yard breaks up into two pieces. We're able to section the different tortoises off. Uh, the three of these guys here, the original three from Houston, and we got some new friends from Phoenix Zoo and Riverbank Zoo in South Carolina. Uh, but these are our four, uh, four of our like pretty much grown up ones. The three of them are gonna be 15 this year, and then Junior here, she's gonna be 31 this year. Um, they eat lettuce, all kinds of veggies. Their favorites are hibiscus flowers, more towards the summertime. Um, in this yard, they're able to get in the pool. We have the smaller ones on the other side, so that's why we have the tortoises separated right now. The Galapagos tortoises, they can get Two, or 500 pounds. Jervis is our biggest. He weighs about 220 pounds right now. So while you think he's big, he's actually pretty much halfway there, but he has plenty of growing to do. The females weigh about 170. And Junior back here, she is our oldest tortoise. And our youngest will be eight this year. So we have three little ones at eight. So this yard will be, or this exhibit will be opening April 7th to the public. Um, we have plenty of species to see, but right here we're in the tortoise yard. We're gonna have 10 tortoises in total. Um, like I said, some new friends, but also three of uh, the original ones from the Houston Zoo. The one that's eating right here is Seymour. She's gonna be 15. She weighs about 160. And this yard has a lot of slopes for them to walk around and you can see these volcanic rocks. This kind of is just what the Galapagos looks like. So they have lots of land to roam around, enjoy their greens, take a dip in the pool behind us. So there's gonna be lots of exploring to do for these tortoises. And that right there is Jervis, he is the big male. So the moat behind us, the tortoises will soak in the water. Um, they won't swim in it much, they kind of just soak. And the yard also has heaters hidden in the volcanic rocks, kind of like caves. So when it does get cooler outside, you'll notice them hide in the caves, kind of warm up, but they enjoy all of the yard and there's plenty to do in here for them. So I think we have some questions here from the Facebook Live. Let's see. So Waylon asks, what is their diet? So their diet primarily is romaine lettuce. They'll get that three times a week, um, but they enjoy veggies such as sweet potato, carrots, uh, zucchini. But like I said, hibiscus flowers are their favorite. It's still a little too early for those flowers, but we'll be getting them soon. They like anything that's pink, orange, bright green. That's what they're most excited about every day. And also in this yard, there's plenty of grass for them to eat. So they're always occupied. I think we have another question here. So Lily asks, what was it like introducing the different tortoises? It was definitely a um, long process because we had three different groups, like I said, from Phoenix, South Carolina, and Houston. Um, it took time just monitoring them, but it went pretty smoothly. There's different sizes. There's one from 200 and uh, like 20 pounds to probably like 40 pounds. So it was quite a process and all of the keepers were involved. We would just monitor them, but as long as they had lettuce and they had space to roam around, it went pretty well. And the tortoises, they can live um, well over 100 years. I think the oldest one is was recorded around 180s, but right now with like modern record keeping, veterinary medicine, there's no telling 
how long these guys will live, but definitely well over 150 years, closer to 200. And that right there is Daphne. She's eating some lettuce. And she'll be, like the original three, she'll be 15 this year. We have another question. For these just tuning in, remind, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, so we're here at the Houston Zoo in the Galapagos Tortoise Yard. Um, this exhibit will be opening April 7th. Uh, we have Galapagos tortoises and some iguanas and penguins and all kinds of exciting stuff. But here we are in half of the yard. Half of it right now we're with the big guys and the smaller tortoises are on the other side. The yard is able to break up into two for like breeding purposes or size just because we do have a pool in here. So we want to make sure that the little ones are okay. And they could eat lettuce for a long time. All the little pieces that you see here in the yard, they will pick it up. Uh, even like the teeniest, tiniest pieces they'll go for. And yes, all 10 tortoises are out at the same time. The only reason we'll like bring tortoises inside is because it's colder outside or for vet visits. Um, but they are out at the same time. They might not be in the same yard just due to size, but they will be outside together in a group. And that there's Junior, she came to us from the Phoenix Zoo um, last November. She's one of two who joined us. Like I said, she is the oldest one in the yard. She'll be 31. And she weighs a little bit over 200 pounds. And they can get up to 500 pounds. There was one I saw that was 600 pounds, so there's no telling how big these guys to get, can get, but they have plenty of growing to do. I think we have some more questions here from Facebook. Angel asks, how have they adapted to the new habitat um, in hilly terrain? So they've done pretty well. This is natural for them because it's just like the Galapagos. Their feet are big and kind of almost elephant-like. They're able to handle these volcanic rocks. There's lots of movement for them to do and explore, especially the green grass. They can walk forever on it, but they've been adapting well. We've been monitoring them closely here with my team and they seem to enjoy anything that's green. So this yard is perfect for them. So Clara asks, how much lettuce do they eat in a day? Oh, that's a great question. Lots of lettuce. So every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they get romaine lettuce. Um, two boxes, I would say in each box, it's probably like 20 to 25 heads of lettuce. So if I had to guess a number, I would say well over 50 heads of lettuce three times a week. Um, in that mix, there's also carrots, sweet potatoes often. So all kinds of veggies. So for y'all tuning in right now, we are in the Galapagos yard here at the Houston Zoo, which will be opening April 7th. Um, we're here with four of our tortoises. We have 10 in total, but right now we're here with the four largest ones, uh, three females and one male. So training, we do do a little bit of training with them. Right now I'm currently working on blood draw training with them. So for when the vets have to come visit or if they go up to the clinic, it's a little bit easier on both of them. I'm training them to be able to be desensitized to like needles and blood draws. Also, I'm training them for recall purposes. So if they were to, for some reason, go back into holding, whether it's like cold or a storm or just anything that we need them inside, I wanna be able to ring a cowbell and have them all come inside. So there's a little bit of training that goes on with tortoises for veterinary purposes or just bringing them back and holding.
So Stacy asked, do they ever rip over accidentally on their, oh, roll over accidentally on their back. Okay. Um, not typically since they're so large, it's very hard for them to do so. Um, I've never really seen it, but I guess with smaller tortoises, it is possible with guys, not really, since they're so large and heavy. It's about 200 pounds trying to roll over. So that, if you can imagine, that takes a lot of strength. So we have another question here. So Chris asks, how do they keep cool in the summer? That's a great question, Chris. Um, thank you for that. So in the summertime, they'll soak in the water. Um, they don't really swim, like I said earlier, they just kind of sit there. Another thing that we like to do is with the water hose, just spray them down. I'll change the settings. They really enjoy that in those hot summer days. And something neat that they do is they have something called a finch response. It's where we'll actually like scratch their necks. It's something that the finches do out in the Galapagos. Let's see. Yeah. Our big male here to do it. So this here is Jervis. He's about 14 years old, weighs 220 pounds. So Taylor asks, will we have babies in the future? Um, not quite sure yet on the plan for that. Um, right now it is not something we're thinking about right now. We're just uh, focusing on them adapting into the yard and monitoring them. In the future, we'll see how that goes, depending on our younger ones, who comes out to be a male or a female. Um, they're still unknown yet because they're so young. But right here, we're doing something called a finch response with Jervis. So they just like the side of their neck scratched. And like I said, finches in the wild will pick off bugs and parasites from them. So this is natural behavior for them out there. So this here is Jervis. We've been working on him a lot with this. He's getting used to it. So the finches will get some bugs and parasites and the tortoises get like a nice little neck scratch out of it. So Stan asked, how does the zoo help tortoises in the Galapagos Islands? Thank you, Stan, for that question. So the zoo has conservation partners out there in the Galapagos. Um, working on reintroducing them into the wild and increasing their numbers in the wild. But just by visiting the zoo, you play a role in that conservation as your ticket does go towards conservation efforts. But the zoo does play a big role in the Galapagos out there. Like Jervis here, we're helping him here in Houston, but by visiting us, you guys are playing a role out there in the Galapagos. So I think we have another question coming in. So Anne asked, what was the biggest challenge getting the new tortoises to Houston? Oh, that's a great question. Um, so it took two separate trips, one to South Carolina and one to Phoenix. Uh, I went to the South Carolina one. I'm trying to think of what the biggest process was, or like the biggest challenge was. I guess just all the lifting. The drive wasn't bad. I went with uh, one of my co zookeepers, but the lifting. They're not the lightest, but all of us kind of had to pitch in once we got to the Riverbank Zoo. We had tons of help there lifting the tortoises. And once we arrived in Houston, we had tons of help um, getting them out and into holding. So I gotta say their weight is the biggest challenge. Chrissy asks, what are their personalities like? Oh goodness, having 10 of them, everyone has complete different personalities. I've gotta say a big part of it depends on the day and if there's food involved. Um, the girls tend to be more social. Um, the little ones have way more energy. Our youngest ones are seven years old. They're fast and they always want to be exploring something new. The male, he typically is the most stubborn sometimes, but like I said, if there's lettuce involved, that can change everything. Daphne, the one that we're filming right here, she is the most social. You can do the finch response with her the most. As soon as I walk into the yard, she's the first one to run up to me, so. 
Some are more social, some tend to be more quiet, which is okay, everyone's different. So how much can a Galapagos tortoise weigh? So like I said, the average is about 500 pounds. Um, I've seen one around 600 pounds. It just depends as they, they always typically just keep on growing, but as they get older, it does slow down. Um, Jervis right now, he's 14 years old and he weighs 220. So as y'all can see, he has plenty of growing to do. Uh, Junior here, she's in her thirties and she weighs probably around 200 pounds. So well into their lifetime, will they reach those high 100 numbers? Um, but it just depends and it does slow down as they get older. So how fast can the Galapagos tortoises move? That's a great question. Um, their speed increases when you have lettuce in front of them. I'll say that. But an exact number, I'm not sure. Uh, I couldn't tell you an exact speed, but when there's lettuce, they can move pretty fast. Sometimes you have to turn around and make sure they're not right behind you. So honestly, like me, we just move faster when there's food right in front of us. So these two right here that are attempting to share this head of lettuce, which it, it's going well, they're siblings. So they're two sisters. Um, they're 14 years old. And you guys can see them here April 7th once the exhibit opens for the Galapagos Islands. They tend to do that a lot. There may be a piece of lettuce right next to them, literally, but one tortoise always wants another tortoise's lettuce. <laughs> The females are a little bit better at sharing and the big male Jervis, which we're filming right now, he, he likes to have his own. So one of my favorite things about working with these incredible species is, I've got to say their lifespan. Um, they're here and they're only 15, 30 years old, but they're gonna be here way after me. And I think that's incredible that one generation can visit the same tortoises that three generations from now will visit. So that's, I think that's one of my favorite things working with them is knowing that I'm caring for them today, but in a hundred years, someone new will be caring for them and they're, they'll get to pass on that message of conservation and how the Houston Zoo is playing a role for many generations to come way after me. So one of the neat things about the tortoises here is they're attracted to certain colors such as red and green. Um, it's amazing how someone can walk in here with red shoes and they will just all go after that it's pretty neat. They can see colors pretty well, but I've learned that red and green are their favorites. So as you can see all around us is plenty of grass, which they'll enjoy. Um, red, orange, vegetables, flowers, they really like. So they are definitely attracted to certain colors. For those of y'all tuning in right now, we're here at the Houston Zoo today in the Galapagos Tortoise Yard, which it will be opening April 7th. And you can see all of our new tortoises. We had three previously and now we have a new herd. So we're gonna have 10 in here in total now. A few uh, moved in from South Carolina and a few others from Phoenix, Arizona. So we have three herds that we introduced and it's been going well. So Emily asked, do they like sweeter vegetables or is lettuce their go-to? Gotta say it's, it's a little bit of both. I think lettuce is their favorite as well as hibiscus flowers, but the, the carrots and the sweet potatoes they do enjoy, but if I had to pick, it'd be lettuce for sure. Anything that's green, orange, red, they enjoy. Definitely the stuff that I should be eating more of, but I guess that's a secret to living a long life is healthy vegetables.
I think Daphne here just discovered that there's been a whole piece right there next to her this whole time, but she just wanted to share with her sister. And as the big boy in front of us, he's looking for a new piece. He's gonna go right there for the zucchini. Oh, actually he's just, he wants her lettuce. That's, they're all siblings, the three of them. So we see that often. Tortoises don't have much, an idea of personal space, but they still, as long as they eat the lettuce, they don't, they don't care too much where it is. So thanks for tuning in. Tune in next week, next Wednesday at 11 a.m. And just remember guys that the Galapagos Islands open April 7th.